Welcome to Canadian Quarters Review. Today, once again, I'm at Greater Vancouver Power Sports in Langley, BC, Canada. This is Mark, and we're checking out a 2019 Can-Am Renegade 1000R XXC. This thing looks pretty cool. And the first thing I've noticed, because I had to move it into this position for filming, the turning ratio of this machine is phenomenal. It's, I love it. It's easy to get around corners and stuff and that was the first thing that impressed me actually trying to get ready for our filming here. It's a really neat machine. So let's talk some specs, shall we? So this beast is going to boast 91 horsepower and of course it's your V-twin Rotax engine from Can-Am. And it's that awesome Austrian engineering that the Rotax engines have. And uh, they will definitely, especially this 1000cc, is without a doubt going to give you that thrill factor you're looking for. It's also got the new arched double A-arm suspension in the front. And this one will actually, this particular model, the XXC, will come with Fox Podium 1.5 RC2 shocks. So you are getting a Skookum suspension system on this unit and it will ride like no other. Whenever you get Podium shocks or what they call piggyback shocks, they normally work so much better than the average shock that comes on an ATV. They're performance is just that much better they don't heat up as fast and take a little bit more abuse so whenever you can find a machine that's upgraded with shocks like this you want to snag it because you'll be that much further ahead and the ride's going to be that much better better in comfort better in performance just all around better and you're getting a good quality shock too that's going to last you a long time So you're going to have your CVT transmission in this machine, just like all the other Can-Ams out there. It's going to have its tri-mode dynamic power steering, which is a blessing. If you have never ridden an ATV before with power steering, you have no clue what you're missing. And of course there's different styles or different types of power steering, uh, but whatever machine you have, if you have a chance to have one with power steering rather than not, always go for the machine with. Your arms will thank you at the end of the day. But Can-Am has done something really special with their power steering units and the tri-mode dynamic power si steering system that they've got is quite superior and they've done an amazing job of creating something that can judge what kind of terrain you're on and set itself accordingly. It'll have 12 inch cast aluminum rims with bead locks and 25 inch ITP whole shot ATR tires. Front and central skid plates. It's got a aluminum taper profile handlebar with wind deflectors and square pad. I still have yet to figure out what the square pad thing is, but if I find out, of course, I will be letting you know. And as far as the frame is concerned, they've got something called surrounding spar technology, SST. It's a G2 frame with geometric 
contact control. So I'm guessing that the frame has been designed in such a way to give you better contact with the road, probably even better center of gravity, and just better performance and better durability. So as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be a 91 horsepower Rotax 976cc V-twin liquid-cooled engine. It's going to have the intelligent throttle control that Can-Am is known for, and of course its electronic fuel injection. Your CVT transmission is going to have your park, your reverse, your neutral, and high and low with standard engine braking. And you've got your selectable two and four wheel drive with the Visco Lock QE, the automatic locking differential that Can-Am is also well known for. And I'm glad that they've actually done some improvements on the front locking diff over the years and it seems to engage a lot quicker than it used to in previous years. My personal opinion has always been, I'm a bit of a control freak. I wanna be able to hit a button and know that my machine is either in four wheel drive or the front diff is locked. But I'm glad that Can-Am has actually taken that in consideration and has made their Visco lock that much quicker to engage because it's just that much more useful and helpful on the trail. Let's face it, when that Visco lock or when a locking front differential is needed, it's usually in your worst times or worst uh, challenging times for that matter. So it's nice to have something that works the way it should when it's supposed to. Your rear suspension is going to be a torsional trailing arm independent, so a TTI suspension. It's 9.9 .9 inches of travel in the rear. Your front, as I said before, is going to be your arched double A arm suspension with a front sway bar and it will have 9.2 inches of travel in the front. Your brakes are going to be dual 214 millimeter vented disc brakes in the front with twin piston calipers and exactly the same for the rear. Dual 214 millimeter ventilated disc brakes with hydraulic two piston calipers also are in the rear. It will have a spot for a winch if you decide to upgrade to that or to add one on. That is something I would always recommend uh, a rider to put on their machine. To me it's a safety gear, almost as important as a helmet or a good set of gloves. If you can afford to have a winch installed at the purchase of your machine, you are definitely smart to do so. You never know when it's gonna come in handy, whether it be used for yourself or maybe to get a friend out of trouble, but it is definitely worth putting the money into getting a good quality winch installed. It's got an awesome digital gauge cluster, a speedometer, tachometer, odometer, trip and hour meters, your fuel gauge of course, your gear position, four-wheel drive indicator, and diagnostics, and of course, a clock. Front bumper and aluminum taper profile handlebar with wind deflectors and a square pad. There we go again with that square pad. And a front and central skid plate offer your protection with this machine. You're gonna have a six months limited warranty that comes with uh, your initial purchase. And of course, as always, you're able to uh, buy extra warranty and stuff for these machines. Sometimes I'm not sure if it's warranted. If you buy a machine that's made well enough, you may never need it. But if you feel comfortable, if you feel better having one, definitely the options are there. The dimensions are, it's gonna be 86 inches long, 48 inches wide, and 49 inches high. The wheelbase is 51 inches, the ground clearance is 10.5 inches, seat height is 34 and a half inches, 
and the engine dry weight for the 1000R is 710 pounds. The rack capacity, I didn't even think there was a rack on these things. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, there isn't any. The towing capacity is 1300 pounds, which is pretty cool. And fuel capacity is 5.4 gallons or 20.5 liters. For lighting, you're going to have 240 watts from four fender mounted projector beams. That's pretty cool. So most of these ATVs, they really come with lights that are just inadequate. And the one thing that it has always boggled my mind, if you're going to make an off-road vehicle like this and put lights on it for it to be used at night, why can you not put a backup light on any of these? I have yet to see an ATV come factory with a backup light of any sort. Was there something for, your, for you guys to think of, Can-Am? Of course, as you can see, you've got some tail lights and stuff here as well, so people can see you from the rear at night, which is a good thing. Okay, so a little freehand work here. So it's got your typical controls on here. So here's your four-wheel drive switch. And here's your ITC mode with a bunch of different modes. Your sport mode and work mode, that kind of stuff will be used by that switch. Of course, you've got your brake lever and your throttle. It's already got built-in areas for you to screw on some mirrors. You don't have to buy special bracketing, which is really cool. Nice little pad in case you <clears throat> do something you shouldn't. And it's got the typical Can-Am display. Apparently we're in performance mode. <laughs> Sweet. So here you have your of course your headlight switch with your high beam and your low beam and your off. This is your start button. This will be your kill switch. And this will be your reverse override. So for those of you that are new with ATVs, once you're in reverse, the machine will not allow you to go full power in reverse just for safety reasons. But if you are stuck and you need full power, then you would push that button in and hold it and while that button is being held in, your machine will have full power to get you out of some mud hole or wherever it is that you're stuck. But as soon as it lets go again, then you're back to half power or whatever it is uh, that it gives you when the button is not being pushed in. Again, you got another brake handle here. And I love that it's got these, I love that it's got these hand guards right here. That's pretty cool too. And your typical shifter with your park and your neutral and high and low range. So this unit right here with Can-Am will be 16799 and as you can see on there, six ply tires, power steering, beadlock wheels, Fox shocks come standard with this unit. And the guys here at Greater Vancouver Power Sports are awesome to deal with. They have a passion for these things just like the rest of us. They know what they're talking about, they know their product, and they're proud to sell something with this name on it. If you have any questions, give them a call. They'll be happy to help you out. And like I said, they're very knowledgeable. So hopefully, usually, you will get your questions answered right away. You're gonna have a 12 volt power supply there. That's actually really bright. I'm pretty sure the camera's not gonna do it any justice, but that should be adequate lighting for at night. I'm glad that Can-Am thought of that. So thanks again, guys, for taking the time to check out my channel, for liking and subscribing. I love these things. They are my passion. It's, it's fun to talk about them. It's fun to go over them. It's fun to ride. So it's just really neat to be able to be a part of all this. So thank you for spending time with me. If this machine strikes an interest, give these guys here a shout at Greater Vancouver Power Sports in Langley, BC, Canada. We're close to the freeway and Colossus Movie Theater. 
Tell them that Canadian Quarters Review sent you. They'll take excellent care of you. And like I said, they are definitely passionate about their machines. They have tons of accessories that you can add on to these machines. Winches and tires and rims and skid plates and hand warmers and all sorts of things. They'll be able to hook you up with whatever it is that you need and want. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you on the next video. Check us out next week and we're going to be talking about my personal experience with this 2018 CF Moto C Force 800 2 Up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.